This star project is about the binary star system Procyon. Procyon is also known as Algomysa or Elgomysa in other cultures. It's also known as Antichanus, meaning before the dog. Procyon is located in the constellation of Canis Minor. Canis Minor is little dog. The star Gomesa makes up the head of the little dog, and Procyon makes up the body. In Greek mythology, Canis Minor is associated with the tale of Acarius and his dog Mera. It is said that Acarius gave some shepherds some very strong wine to taste. They became drunk very quickly, and they believed that he had poisoned them, and after this, they killed him. Mera ran to Icarius's daughter, Aragon. He tugged and howled at Aragon's dress. She knew something must be very wrong, so she followed Mera back to where her father's body lie. Upon finding his body, she and the hound were so distraught that they took their own lives. To remind the people of the tragic events, Zeus placed their images among the stars. Icarius is associated with the constellation of Bootis. Aragon is associated with the constellation of Virgo, and Mera is associated with the constellation of Canis Minor. Procyon is the brightest of the two stars within Canis Minor, and along with two other very bright stars, it forms what is known as the Winter Triangle. The other stars in this system are Betelgeuse in Orion and Sirius from Canis Major. Orion is one of the most recognizable constellations in our night sky, so we can use the Winter Triangle as a means to determine how to locate Procyon. Upon locating Orion's belt, you will look from its leftmost star slightly up and to the left. This star is Betelgeuse. From Betelgeuse, you will look very far to the left and slightly downwards. This star is Procyon. Procyon is a binary star system. This means it is comprised of two stars orbiting around a common center of mass. The orbital period of Procyon is about 40.82 years, and their average separation is around 15 astronomical units, or AU. This is about the same distance as the Sun is from Uranus. However, their distance is highly eccentric, and they can be as close as 8.9 AU or as far as 21 AU. Although there are two stars in the Procyon system, the brightness of Procyon is entirely due to Procyon A, as Procyon B is a dead white dwarf. Star brightness is measured using absolute and apparent magnitudes. Apparent magnitudes is how bright a star appears from Earth, whereas an absolute magnitude is how bright a star appears at 32.6 light years, or about 10 parsecs. When discussing magnitude, lower numbers mean they are brighter. For instance, our, star, our sun has an apparent magnitude of negative 26.74. It is the brightest star we can see, as it is extremely close. However, its absolute magnitude is only 4.83, which is somewhat average. The absolute magnitude of Procyon is 2.68. However, there is a drastic difference in the apparent magnitudes between Procyon A and Procyon B. Procyon A is very bright, with an apparent magnitude of 0.34 whereas Procyon B is very dull, with an apparent magnitude of only 10.7. It is believed that Procyon B was a very massive star that lasted just 400 to 600 million years on the main sequence. It is now a D-class star, typical of the White Dwarf, that is white in color with a surface temperature of around 7,700 Kelvin. Procyon A is an F-class star. It is about 6,500 degrees Kelvin, and it's about 1.87 billion years old. It has about 1.4 solar masses, meaning it is about 40% larger than our sun. It will live about 3 to 4 billion years on the main sequence. Our sun is a G-type star, and it will live about 10 billion years on the main sequence. 
On the Hertzsprung Russell diagram, we can see that Procyon B is down here in the white dwarf section, and it is white in color, squarely white in color, and has a very low luminosity. We can also see that Procyon A is here in the subgiants, and it has a much greater luminosity, and it is white yellow in color. Our sun is on the main sequence, and it has a average luminosity and is also an average mass. We can tell this because the mass of stars is determined by their position on the Hertzsprung Russell, with larger, more massive stars towards the top and smaller, less massive stars towards the bottom. We also have brighter, more luminous stars towards the top right, and dimmer, less bright stars towards the bottom left. F-class stars may be the hottest and brightest stars that could plausibly support alien life. The popular television show Star Trek dreamed up a gas giant planet orbiting Procyon that had a moon which supported life. This moon was Andoria, which hosted the Andorian race. Procyon is located only 11 and a half light years away from us. This means it would take until the spring of 2031 for us to notice were Procyon to stop emitting light today. Because of this distance, it is theoretically possible that we could communicate with a race such as the Andorians were they to inhabit the system. While some may say that communication with an unknown alien race could have dire consequences for humanity, I still think that it would be very cool if we reached out to them. In fact, I think that we could learn a lot from them, and they could learn a lot from us. I would like them to think that we are a peaceful people, and that we come only with the desire for knowledge. We could even broadcast media to each other via radio waves. I hope that this presentation on Procyon has been interesting and informative. Thank you for watching.